Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with a exciting video. I've been promising this one for a while and I finally have a chance to sit down and record it. And that is my 2024 sass list or serious about series list. So this was created years ago by Elizabeth over at Lizzie Fay Loves Books. Link to her channel in the description box below. And um, essentially what it is, is the basic idea is to work through series. And she does kind of have rules, if you will, or prompts, you know, for you to do year to year. Every year it's a little bit something different. But um, I'm kind of doing my own thing with it, and which I think a lot of us are. And that's fine, you know, like Elizabeth, like kind of does the leave it up to your own interpretation kind of an idea, whatever works for you. So as you guys well know, I mean, I love series. I read a ton of series. I also tend to be an out of order series reader. Um, and that's fine. But I kind of really wanted to focus on some series this year. So my original plan going into the start of this year to 2024 was basically the same reading that I've been doing, you know, every other year. And then this year, I really wanted to kind of focus on category romance. So I was doing that and I have been doing that all the month of January and I've really been enjoying it. However, I know, I know me and I know that you can't live off a diet of potato chips, you know, in, in, just potato chips. You need other food. Um, and books are the same. You cannot just live off of one type of book. As great as category is, as much as I promote it, you know, as diverse as category can possibly be, you still do need some other books and other reading in your diet. Now, I tend to be a genre read reader anyway. So it's not like, you know, I'm not reading Jane Austen and Charles Dickens, but I did want to incorporate more. So what my plan is, is that, you know, January was kind of my month of like dipping my toe in the water and seeing exactly what I could do here. And that I would like half of my reading every month to be category romance and the other half to be everything else. So I think that that's going to work out really well. Now, all of the series that I've picked here are available on audio because I do plan to these be kind of my audio books. And then because category generally is not available on audio. There are a lot that are, but there are far more that are not, unfortunately. And, and audio is great for my commute. And I'm really trying to get back into it. So um, I picked 24 series that I have either wanted to read. I have started some of, or I've read some of the books in the series, but not all of them. Or even some series that I did make a good chunk of the way through, but kind of want to restart. And it, the, it's also all over the place in terms of genre. So we've got romance, we've got um, a thriller series, we have a paranormal romance, a lot of cozies, like I said, a, ro a lot of romance actually. And so there's a little bit of everything. So when I do pick my books every month, I kind of have, there's a wide variety of me to to potentially pick from. So how am I picking them every month? So my goal is to read five SAS books or serious about series books every single month. So what my plan is, is when I'm putting together my TBR, and I think what I might do next month, like for March, because I've already done it for the month of February, but for March is to sit down and do a separate video and spin the wheel with you guys watching. So this is my serious about series, you know, spinning wheel. And all the series I have that I'm going to talk about are listed here. And I just spin the wheel and whatever book comes up. And if I get, you know, series three, two, one, and I'm on book three, then I'm going to be reading book three that month. Um, I will not pick the same series twice during a month. So if I get the same series twice, I will not pick it twice. I'll, I'll spin again, but I will allow the same series to be picked month to month. So like if I get it in February and I get the series again in March, that's perfectly acceptable. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. So when I finish, if and when, because some of these, two of these series, one is a 30 book series. The other one is a 36 book series. So some of them are quite long, but some of them are relatively five, six books that I could potentially finish within a year, depending on how many times they come up when I spin the wheel. Um, so my plan is, is that when I finish a series, I'm not adding a new one. I'm going to finish off the year and see what happens. And then like at the end of the year, let's say I'm down to now 21 series. I finished three over the course of the year from doing the series about series. Then I'll pick another few more to get up to 25 because next year is 2025 so to get up to 25 series. And I'll just keep doing that as a, uh, as the years progress. 
<laughs> so let me share with you um, the actual series that I picked. Now, I'm not going through every single book because we would be here for 18 and a half days. But um, I'm going to mention the series to you. I'll mention the genre. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory when you look at the covers. And um, I'll share with you at least the first book in the series. So, you know, then we can go from there. I'll let you know how many books are in the series as well. So let me just bring up my list here and put it down over here where I can read it. Um, I love this new little holder thing that I have for my tablet. So just in case you're curious, of all the books that are on this list, there are a total of 295 books. <laughs> I will obviously not be reading all of these this year. So anyway, the first series that I have is a very old school, um, uh, an OG, if you will, um, even older than OG, I would say, mystery series. It is, I would consider it to be a cozy because it is an amateur sleuth. And this one, and these series are in no particular order. So it's not like I put all the mysteries together, all the romance together. They're just kind of all over the place. They're as I thought about them. But this is the first one that kind of popped in my mind. And I'm like, yeah, I think this is definitely one that I want to go for. And I, this is the only one that I actually have a physical edition of the first book for. And this is the Miss Marple series by Agatha Christie. And there are 13 books in total. 12, 13, there's some back and forth if you look at different websites. This, the book that I have in my hand is the Complete Short Stories Collection. So this is supposed to be book number one of Miss Marple. This is where it's in these short stories that um, she kind of got her start and then she went off and um, started having her own series with the first book, the second book, if you will, being The Murder at the Vicarage. Um, so this, I think, came out in 1930 originally. Now, this is available on audio this entire book, but I bought, I love these editions and my goal is to collect all of them for my, my shelves that are just beautiful, but these are all the Miss Marple books. So, um, yeah, I, I like Miss Marple, even though she really doesn't appear very much in the story. So again, looking forward to that. Um, the next series that I have here is Beyond the Pages Bookstore Mystery by Lauren Elliott. The first book is called Murder by the Book and it came out in 2018. This is a 10 book series at this point. There are, I think, still books being written because the book 10 comes out this year. So, yeah. Um, it's a cozy mystery series. I know it's a favorite with a lot of people. I have not read any of the books in this series. Looking forward to it. Next is one that I've actually almost finished the series, but I'm going to go back and start it from the beginning. And that is The Amish Candy Shop Mystery by Amanda Flower. There are nine books as of now. The newest book, Gingerbread Danger, was announced. Um, and it's coming out later this year, but the first book is called Assaulted Caramel. So part of the reason I wanted to reread and start this one again is because when I read the first book, it was back in April of 2019. I remember exactly when I read it because it was the very first Amish in April that Elizabeth over at Lizzie Fay Loves Books and I did together. And because this is an Amish cozy mystery. And um, at the time I was reading this, my father was going through some surgery for his cancer. And I, rem I remember reading the book, but I don't remember much about the book. So I know that my mind was definitely somewhere else at the time. So I'm looking forward to revisiting the series from the start. So yeah, that is a favorite. If you have not read that one, you need to check it out. Next, we have an old series that I mean, old, it goes back to 2009. Um, and that's Chesapeake Shores by Cheryl Woods. Um, there are 14 books in this series. The first book is The Inn at Eagle Point. This is a contemporary romance, small town series. Um, and I love it. It follows some siblings and then it follows other people in the town. Like I said, there are 14 books. The final book came out in 2017. So it's it's gone by now. Like there's going to be no more books in this series. But it was a lot of fun. If you like small town cat, uh, contemporary, you might really like this one. Oh, and a side note that I know that there are novellas that come between some of these books. Like in the Amish candy shop, there are novellas. When I give you guys the number count for the number of books, I'm not counting novellas. But when I get to that book, I'll probably read the novella before I'll read the next book. Like for example, if I think in um, Amish candy shop, there's like a 3.5. So if I get to book four, I'll read 3.5, then I'll read book four, if that makes any kind of sense. So the next series we have here is one of my absolute favorites. It's probably one of the book, the series that got me started really, really loving um, small town contemporary romance. And that is the Fool's Gold series by Susan Mallory. I've read like the first 10 books and then I jumped around 
quite a bit in the series. So the first book is called Chasing Perfect, and uh, there are 21 books in total in the series, you guys, and Chasing Perfect came out in 2010. The final book came out in 2020. So it ended not that long ago, but it is a fan, it's a favorite, and it's a fan favorite if you're, um, if you read Susan Mallory. A lot of people love these books. The next one is a slightly shorter series. We have The Texas Murder Files by Laura Griffin. This is a five book series. I did get the first book, Hidden, which came out in 2020, um, from NetGalley, obviously, years ago. And I think I started it, but never got very far in it, but I am looking forward to diving back into it. It's more of like a thriller poli police procedural type series. Like I said, five books. The newest book comes out later this year. So this is an ongoing series. The next one is also more of like a thriller police procedural ongoing series. Those of you who know me are probably not surprised at all that this series is on this list. It is hands down one of my favorites. Um, I love this so much. We have Kate Burkholder by Linda Castillo. I love the Kate Burkholder series so much. This is about a woman who, um, oh, sorry, the first book is called Sworn to Silence, and it came out in 2009. This is currently a 16-book series. The newest book comes out later this year. So it's about Kate Burkholder, who is former Amish. She was raised Amish and then left the church, and she became a police detective, and now she's living back in the same small town of Painters Mill, Ohio. And murders are afoot, but I mean, these are grisly. These are not your cute, cozy murders, <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. These are pretty brutal, bad things happening. And a lot of them involving the Amish being the bad guy sometimes. So, you know, they're, it's, I, I love it. And honestly, and, and, and you know, uh, uh, audio each to their own on audio, right? But if you are an audiobook reader, you need to read this series on audio because the person who does the narration is fabulous. She is the perfect Kate Burkholder. Um, the next series that I have is a much more cozier mystery, a much more cozy murder mystery series, and that is Country Store Mystery by Maddie Day. There are 12 books in this series. The first book is called Flip for Murder. The newest book just came out uh, called Deep Fried Death, I think it is. My library actually had it available, like the audiobook available when I was perusing through uh, a couple hours ago. But anyway, I am looking forward to this one. I have jumped around in this series. I've read a couple of the books, but not all of them, and I really like the setting, so I am looking forward to this one. The next one is a smaller little series, um, and this is a fairly new series also. Coyote Canyon by Brendan Novak. There's only three books. The first book came out early last year, and it's called Tulua's Back in Town. This is a small town contemporary romance, and the newest book comes out later this year. So three books so far. Very much looking forward to starting that one. Big fan of Brendan Novak. Big, big fan. Basically, kind of how I put this list together is I just thought about authors that I really like, and then I went on Fantastic Fiction, and I just looked up all their series is pretty much what I did. Next up, BJ Daniels. Who doesn't love BJ Daniels? She's fantastic. She does great romantic suspense. So I picked Buckhorn, Montana, um, and there's this is a six-book series. I think it's now done, but don't quote me. The first book called Out of the Storm came out in 2020, and the newest book came out last year in 2023. So I don't know if she's writing one for this year. I haven't seen anything. Nothing's been announced. We shall see exactly where that goes. Uh, the next one, I have jumped around in this series. I've read books here and there, but looking forward to starting and finishing this one, like, from the start. Um, the Lighthouse Library Mystery Series by Eva Gates. There are 11 books in this series in total. The first book is called By Booker by Crook, and it came out in 2015, and the newest book comes out later this year. Um, so this is still an ongoing series, and I'm looking forward to it. This is one of the, this is the longest series I have on this list, and it is now ended, I think officially ended. I think she's writing spinoffs, but no, nothing to this series anymore. And that is The Crew of Hunters by Heather Graham. I have read a number of these books. I've read a ton of these books. And I read like the first, sorry if you can hear Presley in the background, I read the first 10 or 15 in order, or maybe even up to book 20 in order. And then I kind of jumped around a little bit and I didn't read all of the ones later. So from the beginning, starting with Phantom Evil. It came out in 2011. The final book came out um, in 2022. She used to bring out three books a year, but we haven't seen anything since 2022. Last year in 2023, she had like a spin-off trilogy. So that's why I'm thinking that the official Crew of Hunters is done. But it's a much-loved series. It's a paranormal romance about a group of FBI agents who hunt ghosts. 
it is fabulous. Uh, next up, speaking of favorite authors, you just can't without, at least for me, Maisie Yates. And uh, the series I picked from her was Four Corners Ranch. Uh, this book has, this book, this series has six books. The first book is called Unbridled Cowboy, and it came out in 2022. And the newest book comes out later this year. There are two books actually coming out later this year for this series. So that's very exciting. She writes like the Dickens, honestly, like not like Charles Dickens, but she just writes like she puts out so many books. And she's amazing. So yeah, can't beat a good cowboy contemporary romance from Maisie Yates. Next up is the OG Cozy Mystery series. Uh, people have a love-hate relationship with this series. It does, you know, kind of jump the shark, fall off the bandwagon at a certain point in the series. And But it's just charming and delightful. And you know exactly what you're getting as you're picking one of these up. And I would really like to, to say that I have finished this one at some point. And I think a lot of you know what I'm about to say. And it's the Hannah Swenson series by Joanne Fluke. This one has, as of right now, 30 books in the series. Uh, the newest book comes out later this year. Um, and yeah, I, I do enjoy it. I know, like I said, it's not everybody's favorite, but I enjoy it quite a bit. And the next series we have is by Rayanne Thane. And this is Haven Point. Um, this is a 12 book series and the first book is called Snow Angel Cove and it came out in 2014 and the newest book or the last book came out in 2020. So this is a series I believe that she has now finished. Um, small town contemporary romance again, but I believe these are written on the sweeter side if I'm remembering correctly. I think Rayanne Thane tends to be a sweeter, well she does tend to be a sweeter romance author. So the next one is one that most of you probably maybe haven't heard of. I read or I found the first book at the library years ago and I think it was for a March Mystery Madness and I think the prompt was like to read a book not set in North America or, or you know so I picked this one because it was set in India and I think I read about half of it and then I got caught up with other books but I came across it when I was looking up some other things on fantastic fiction. I went, oh my god, yes. that It just looks so whimsical. So I'm going to give it another shot. Like, Not that I didn't like it. I think it was more of a, it was a DNF, a soft DNF or a DNF for now. And this is The Baby Ganesh Agency Investigation by Vasim Khan. Uh, the first book is called The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra. And it came out in 2015. The last book came out in 2019. So this is about a inspector uh, in India who has retired and he solves mysteries in his retirement. <laughs> the covers are just so whimsical and fun. And yeah, I, I, I did actually end up getting the first book on audio. And I think you need to listen to this one on audio because the narration who narrates them does a beautiful job. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to diving back into this one. Next one is a much loved series by a lot of people who love the cozies. I did put a call out on the Killing Time with Cozies group over on Discord. You know, give me some series. What should I pick? And a lot of people mentioned this one, and that is The Magical Cat's Mystery by Sophie Kelly. There are 16 books in this series. The first book is called Curiosity Thrilled the Cat, and it came out in 2011. The newest book comes out, I think, later this year. So, yeah magical cats, but they don't talk because I, I had a problem with cats before in another book that were like magical, but everybody has assured me these ones are okay. <laughs> Speaking of cats, we have a, a couple more cat books coming up. Uh, the next one is a series that I have a love-hate relationship. I love the idea of these books. I love the cover of these books. I've read a couple of them and I've been underwhelmed, but we're up to 12 books in this series, so clearly people like them. And I just want to give it one more try and see what I think. And that is The Bookstore Cafe Mystery by Alex Erickson. The first book is Death by Coffee. It came out in 2015. The newest book came out in 2023. I do not know if there's going to be a new book after this one or what the case may be. What I kind of love is the cat on the cat front of these books. Uh, the cat in these stories reminds me of my brother's cat, Shadow. <laughs> Big, fluffy, black and white cat. Um, so, yeah. We're going to give this one one more try. If I do, if I'm not enjoying it as I'm doing the sass list, I'm just going to take it off. And I have that discretion for any of these series. If any of these I stop enjoying, they just get wiped from the list and it's fine. No harm, no foul. 
Next up, another cat set of books. We have The Bookmobile Cat Mystery by Lori Cass. There's 12 books in this series as well. The first book came out in 2013 and it's called Lending a Paw. And the newest book comes out later this year. Now, I have listened to a couple of these on audio and I did kind of get a little annoyed at the cat because the cat keeps maw, maw, as you're listening to the audio. Preston just put its head up, what? Um, <laughs> And the cat kind of gets a little bit annoying as you're listening to it, but I've been able to tune it out. And this is really, really cute about a cat. You know, it's a woman who drives the bookmobile and I think the cat lives on the bookmobile. So yeah, super cute. The next one is a coffee cozy. And this is The Coffee Lover's Mystery by Tara Lush. There are four books in this series. The first book, Grounds for Murder, came out in 2020. I did get that one from NetGalley and I read it back in 2020. And I remember really enjoying it, but I've never continued on. So we're going to do that now. So I'm very excited. The newest book comes out, I think, later this year. And it's, uh, I love the title, A Bean to Die For. <laughs> <laughs> so that one is going to be really fun. The next one we have is from Jill Shalvis. I love, I love Jill Shalvis. I thought about rereading Heartbreaker Bay, which is probably hands down my favorite series from her, but I thought let's try something else from her. So I have not read any of these books in this series, and I can't believe it because these have been coming out since 2022. And this is Sunrise Cove by Jill Shalvis. So the first book that I said, like I said, came out in 2022 is called The Family You Make. These are contemporary romance, bordering more on women's fiction, but because it's Jill Shalvis, she still writes on the spicier side. So you're not getting as many love scenes, but the ones that you're getting are spicy just so you're aware going in if you are interested in trying them out. Um, and the newest book comes out later this year. The next one I think is another well-loved series within the cozy reading community, and that is The Bake Shop Mystery uh, by Ellie Alexander. There are 19 books in this series. The first one is called Meet Your Baker that came out in 2014, and looks like we're getting two new books in 2024 for this series. So that sounds really good. I love the covers on these. They are super, super adorable. Uh, speaking about covers that one could love, Dolores Fawson. <laughs> I am a big fan of her. This is one of her, she usually writes romantic suspense, but this is one of her contemporary romance series. And this is Last Ride, Texas. And the first book is called Spring at Saddle Run. Hello, Cowboy, came out in 2021, and the last book came out in 2023. I do not know if there's going to be another book in this series or not, or whether the series is finishing at six books. No idea, to be honest. And last, but certainly not least, I know this is a big favorite of my friend Storm over at Storm Reads, um, and that is the Sherlock Holmes Bookshop Mystery by Vicki Delaney. There are nine books in this series. The first one is called Elementary She Read that came out in 2017. The new book comes out later this year, and I have been assured you do not have to have read Sherlock Holmes to enjoy these books, because I have not read Sherlock Holmes. Um, so yeah, so that's it, guys. There are all the series about series. So stay tuned. Um, I'm filming this the same day it's going to go out. I'm filming this on Sunday. But after this, I'm going to film my TBR for the month of February. So stay tuned to see which books got picked for my February TBR. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.